So Stephen A. Smith. He's been going back and forth with Jason Whitlock. Now, they've been having a long-standing beef. And Stephen A. Smith, as he likes to boast and mention all the time, he works for ESPN. He's pretty much one of the faces of ESPN. He is also one of the top highest-paid TV personalities at ESPN. On your television screen every morning, flapping his big gums. Stephen A. Smith has always skimmed by by the hair of his teeth. He thinks like he's totally untouchable, that he can do no wrong. He can go on this crazy diatribe and disrespect somebody in the media, have the shit go viral, and not be reprimanded for it just because you told your bosses. So Stephen A. Smith is making about $12 million a year. That is a lot of cheddar. And as I mentioned, he always likes to boast about his position at ESPN. Notice that Ime excuse me, was excuse not me, at excuse me. I listened to you. You're the one telling me to stop on my show. It ain't happening. People always reference it like it's his show. It's not his show. You got bosses. That is Disney ESPN show, nigga. You is not running anything when it really come down to it. You may have a slight say of who comes on. Okay. You've been there the longest. You're an executive producer, yes, because you fill up the whole segment with talking. Basically, the point what I'm trying to get to is I believe that it was incumbent on Stephen A. Smith to keep his word, to keep his professionality, to keep his decorum, to keep his head during this whole fiasco with Jason Whitlock and I don't want to hear anything that you got permission from the executives and you got permission from your pastor and you're throwing out your name dropping him it's just insane bro no I'm not going to accept it I am literally calling for Stephen A. Smith to resign or for them to fire him now I don't have too much pleasure in saying that I don't want people to lose their jobs in general. They have done nothing wrong. But holding him to the same damn standard that he holds everyone else, I mean, you've heard him several times call for people's job when they're not doing it. And he's broken rules. He's been suspended on several occasions. Loose at the lips. So Stephen A., yeah, you should give it up. Jason Whitlock actually somewhat exposed you because I've seen the response. I'm kind of tuning in to all of it. I've seen the response and Whitlock is ultimately just calling him out on the shit Stephen A. Smith said in his book. How this can't happen this way because it's not theoretically possible for this to happen. And then Stephen A. rebuts, but you can tell in the 45, 50 minute diatribe soliloquy like he likes to say that he was a little bit butthurt but if you want to hold people to the same standard Stephen A I think you should take a break I think you should step down or resign because of what you did that interview went viral too I think it had like over a million views in the first 24 hours and yes I seen some comments out there and I'm still this one that boy was definitely that boy definitely seen Shannon Sharp's numbers. <laughs> That's you know the club 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 Shay Shay interview with um, with your boy. I think it's probably damn near probably fifty million views. I haven't checked it lately. Last time I checked it, it was like at forty something views. But Stephen A. Smith, man, the man amongst men, the man who likes to call people out at ESPN who thinks he's so fly and so slick and bruh you ain't doing it like that Troy Aikman is getting 18 million dollars a year he's just surpassed you he's a former player and I think you then slightly messed up a little bit you know why because you brought Shannon Sharp on and Shannon Sharp is the fastest growing media personality of the last year with Club Shay Shay. Now he didn't transition from FX1 to ESPN. 
and he's slightly overtaking you. One thing Shannon Sharp does a little bit better than um, Stephen A. Smith is talk louder. But I believe Shannon Sharp makes a lot more sense when he's talking. Sometimes Stephen A. Smith kind of just loses me in the mess. As I mentioned, I'm calling for Stephen A. Smith's job. You want to call for everybody else's for being unprofessional. And I think this didn't rub people the wrong way just because there was headlines out there saying that you burned Whitlock, um, you did him in, you annihilated him. Bro, those are, those are all part of the system that Jason Whitlock thinks that are helping you. The whole the whole balloon that you're engulfed in, a.k.a. the Matrix, whatever y'all want to say, anything. I thought it was pretty comical to a sense, and Stephen A. need to give that up. Oh, God. Peace.